Good morning, church family. I am coming to you today probably with a little bit different direction than I know that we've been talking about in our devotions in the past, but I thought I would speak a little bit about strength in the Lord because that's been on my heart, especially because all the uh, things that we seem to be going through as a country, uh, that, that we just really need strength and strength in God especially in these times of all the crises, whether that be spiritual crisis in our country, uh, in our families, in our life, in our social lives, or political, wherever that may be, that we have to rely on our strength through the Lord. And uh, so I'm going to speak a little bit about that, because obviously uh, most of my life have been a huge... Uh, I've had a huge interest and in love for history, uh, probably somewhat political science. Uh, probably would have gone that route if I hadn't had such a love for music early in my life. And uh, so I thought I'd speak a little bit about our country and a little bit about uh, where we've been and where we need to go and de desperately need to go. And, uh, but I wanted to make it perfectly clear that I'm not taking political sides. And uh, I hope you don't interpret it that way. Uh, but uh, also, if I'm wrong on a particular statement, uh, that you can feel free to correct me, but just hold it to a minimum. But anyway, in, in the light of uh, the SCOTUS opinions lately and the, the things that come down from the president of the White House, whether it be international struggles, uh, the war across, of course, overseas, uh, all the things that seem to be happening in schools across the country, uh, lack of uh, parent involvement in their children, uh, or, or no parent involvement at all, uh, the, the horrendous rise in, in the problem with drugs, uh, with crime, uh, with shootings, uh, that we just have to get to a point that that we know that this country's core was founded on a belief in God, and and that's a fact that cannot change. And it, I mean, even in our Declaration, it says uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal; they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights. That among these are the life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Now, as we know, uh, much of the uh, Constitution Decla Declaration were written because of the laws, the tyranny, the uh, uh, the, the Church of England, uh, the way the the British ruled, so on and so forth. But, but it, I mean, it, it is a fact if you do your history that that our founding fathers were definitely uh, very religious men. And, and held their belief in God very, uh, very firmly. And, uh, you know, I, I can remember when I was a child that one of the best things that you looked forward to was, boy, if you got chosen to do the prayer in the mornings, and if you got chosen to lead the school in the Pledge of Allegiance through the microphone, man, you were set for the week. And I don't know that they do those things anymore, but I think that somewhere around the, somewhere in the midst of all that, especially when I was young, that the beginnings of the separation of church and state uh, became a, a rallying cry, which interestingly enough is not even in the Constitution, uh, that actually came from uh, one of uh, Thomas Jefferson's letters, I think, where he was trying to support that, 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 that the government needs to stay out of the church. He never stated that the church shouldn't stay out of the government, but quite the opposite. So that, uh, uh, but, but things obviously through courts and legalized issues have been cast aside and changed and, and laws not passed and laws should have been passed and then opinions made and then a social agenda set and so on and so forth. 
And, uh, but I, I think that it's important to know where our country was founded and how our country was started. And that, that these, this love of our country has slowly and surely been eroded through all of society for tens of years now. So anyway, I wanted to leave us leave you with a couple of uh, scripture verses, and those are Joshua one verse nine, which says, "Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go." And I think this is just perfect scenario that needs to equip us, needs to be our body of armor, our, our, our scripture verse that we take to heart, that we know that God is with us in all these situations, no matter how bad it is, that God is with us and that we can rely on him for strength. And the verse is Isaiah 12, 2, which says, Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Another good one is 1 Peter 5.10. And the God of grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong. So I... Uh, I, I really love that scripture verse. It really speaks to me because I, sometimes I think we suffer a long time. And uh, even if that's internally or, or concern or, or, or sadness or whatever it is, especially with these incredible, consistent national headlines that are being thrown at us, that God can restore us. He can restore us. He can restore this nation. But I think it's going to take a vast army of believers on their knees for this nation to come back to the point that God is in control and that we acknowledge as a nation that God is in control. Uh, I'll leave you this with this one, Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you and will never leave and will never forsake you. So anyway, pray for our country. I'm going to lead us in a short uh, prayer now. And uh, join with me as we pray for the world that needs a mighty God right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now in, uh, with a uh, with a concern, with a, a love for our country, with a love for for all the things around us, with a love for our families. We're concerned, I think each of us are concerned about oftentimes the direction that, uh, the, the secular direction that so many things are thrown at us. And we just pray that you give us the strength, the knowledge, the wisdom to to know how to bring our nation closer to you that we elect godly people to represent us, that we represent, that we elect, uh, also have godly people that lead us and make the decisions that are so crucial to, to us as a nation and to us and our daily lives. We love you, Lord, and we just lift up the name of our country and then lift up our church and, and everyone who is struggling and that you may give them the strength that they need to be soldiers for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye for now.